Hi everyone, this is Greg Grégoire pour vous servir. Uh, your host for another whiskey review about the Aran distillery, but this time we switch from a sweet wine cask to a sweet wine finish and uh, from a limited edition to a um, core range, the Sauterne cask finish, Sauterne being our this French sweet wine uh, for dessert, for foie gras pairing as well, uh, most common, most uh, famous uh, domain is Chateau Ikem. Uh, but uh, it cannot be stated all the time on the whiskey labels, so we just know it's Sauternes, but there's a lot of Sauternes domain that are excellent. Uh, so we don't know which one it is. Um, but yes, yeah, so probably around six, seven years old, eight, not more than that. Uh, American oak probably and then finished uh, for some months uh, in um, Sautern cask so this is the current packaging um, this bottle is from two, uh, 2018 by the way it is a bottle of 50% natural color non chill filtered as usual um, this is the uh, current packaging. This uh, the the um, the finishes range within the core range was supposed to be revamped, rebranded like the the ones you see before me, the share cask. Uh, during this time, April, May, something like that, I was told. But with all that's happening, it might be delayed a bit. Uh, but you still can find uh, some of these. The Madeira seems to be discontinued. It's, it was my favorite. I have uh, published a review about it. And I've spoke about it uh, already in a Three Whiskies review. So please check it out. Uh, otherwise you have Amarone, which is Italian red wine uh, cask finish. Uh, what else? You have Sherry cask finish. You had port. At some time, probably discontinued. You had masala cask, but it was a limited as well. And um, what else? Port, Madeira, Sherry, Marcella. I don't remember uh, uh, if there were others. So there you go for now. This is the Aran uh, Sauterne cask finish, which was, was about um, 55, 56 euros in France. Uh, got in supermarket last year. What else to say? Um, like I said in the previous video, but it was a bit longer than previous. That is not going to happen two times, I promise. Um, I will be very short on the distillery and a bit longer on the description under the video you will find after seeing this. Uh, so just some basic things. Aran distillery from the west coast, uh, from the west coast of uh, Scotland, but an island just under Isla is uh, the most visited distillery from Scotland with uh, 100 thousand visitors per year which is very uh, amazing when i learned that uh, other than that uh, it has been uh, founded in 1993 by the isle of Aran distillers limited company um, a small company it produces 1200 liters a year for the main distillery which is in Lochranza. but since last year they start to distilling in another distillery located in the south of the Isle of Arran in order to produce uh, pitted only whiskies while the, the main wine uh, will stop produce pitted fin uh, finishes or a main uh, uh, maturing uh, mal uh, pitted malt whiskies so there will be no more confusion the name also will change etc uh, but for now we have the regular Aaron, let's say the original, like the one bef just behind me, yeah, with the uh, the uh, copper tube, like. It's the early version. Now it's called Lorenza. 
the knowledge statement but this one yeah i picked up later on uh, earlier on but later than other expressions because i had a sample and i liked it uh, so i wanted to have a bottle but then as always the batch variation things basically we have golden color a bit brighter on my glass once again then uh, on the screen yops um, young young stuff so not much sticking in the in the glass uh, okay let's go to the nose mm, nice sugar vanilla some esters as well pears pineapples citrus fruits maybe some uh, mm, I wouldn't say mango yeah maybe some mango um, not really quince let's say some lemon sherbet some apricots yeah interesting uh, rather appealing noise uh, nose I will say okay let's try on the palette now slam them out quite some alcohol arrival well bear in mind it's 50 percent ABV. It is young, so even if there are some nice appealing notes, and don't get me wrong, it's a nice whiskey, you can quickly feel coming through the oak and the tannins, uh, not too much, but quite some, and a lot of spices, even more than the previous one, probably. Um, yeah, I, I will tend to say like for the Pinot de Charente cask I just reviewed um, I might say and I know it's a bit of disappointment for you probably as well those two expressions are the nose is superior than the palate I have to say in my opinion and it's what's the problem with it but still the good whiskies and we'll find out is this one tops it off a bit compared to the other or is uh, less interesting. So on my notes. Yeah, candied lemon, sweet spices, ginger is ahead of course. Yeah, some Quince some heady flowers as well. Um, some dried herbs too. Um, some, you know, vanilla you put in the cake, uh, vanillin to, to do some uh, pastry. And even the one topping of the millefeuille, uh, French pastry, if you take the picture, if you see what I mean. okay let's dilute it a bit i don't want this vid video to be too long previous one was a bit too long in my uh, for my taste let's see i know you guys don't like to have long videos um so this one's gonna be shorter yeah it's more sexiness vanilla and citrus fruit and exotic fruit sexiness on the nose but will it change something on the palate i'm not sure i have tried this one less than the uh, pinot de charente one as you can see just uh, three pours um so it might develop a bit again so take my um my rating a bit with more reservations than the previous one where i tried it much more times mm. yeah it's better with water definitely 
and there's a kind of a herbal slight bitterness but not so much there's some sugar um, come back some sugar cane uh, sugar candy sorry and vanilla sugar coming back which is quite pleasant um, on the palate the fruitiness I was expected more fruitiness honestly um, so uh, again initial rate was 88.5 out of 100 um, but this one uh, well, for now I'm, I'm gonna leave it to 87 out of 100 but it might change and not necessarily uh, for good <laughs> but yeah it's, it's a first impression let's say uh, not my first impression but uh, let's say third impression in for you it's your first for me but it's after three tasting so uh, it might evolve a bit but for me uh, let's say quite decent whiskey with 87 or say 86 to 87 uh, it passes the 85 mark which means it's good but it has some drawbacks and when it go lower to 85 it's that's a slight maybe problem or something that could be uh, better uh, made um, but yeah for now the only um, honestly the only irons that go over 90 uh, or that reach 90 or more uh, among the open bottles I mean uh, are the of course the 14 the, the LS discontinued 14 years old so that's behind me somewhere yeah uh, and the Madeira cask finish, which for me is uh, really outstanding. Um, and yeah, I yet have to open the 12 years old cask rank, which is a, uh, an old one, a few years ago one. Uh, the sherry cask, the recent one, the Bodega, um, I've been lowering its its rate, so I don't remember if it's something... Uh, it's yeah it's less than 88 something like that 89 i'm not even sure so still uh, some difficulties nice whiskies all these but some difficulties uh, but uh, yeah okay let's have a last taste of this one hmm. Hmm. It is balanced, but as it is young, the oak, the spices, and a bit of tannins are still coming through a bit too loud for me. Um, having said that, there's a nice floralness and fruitiness. I would have preferred to be more important in it, but um, all in all, nice whiskey. Thanks for watching. Um, next time, I think we'd definitely gonna move to uh, letter B despite I know I have some odd mores in my collection but those odd mores are odd mores both expressions I have when in D and when OB are discontinued uh, one is a single cask from uh, independent butler the other uh, is the traditional the, the previous official one that's even now the legacy has uh, been replacing it and we're speaking now even of other new ones so i don't know if it's really relevant uh, to review them on video now or maybe in a collective flight let's say say a few words about them so that's it for now thanks for watching and see you soon with other single molds bye bye